Did you know? The Boeing 787 aircraft partners with two premier engine manufacturers to deliver an exceptional product powered by highly efficient engines. When ordering this long-range, wide-body Dreamliner, airlines, and leasing companies have the option to choose between the Rolls-Royce Trent 1000 engine and GE Aerospace's Gen X engine. However, recently, there has been a notable trend where airlines are increasingly favoring one type of engine over the other. So, which engine is being prioritized? What does this change signify with both the airlines and the manufacturer? Let's dive into today's episode. Normally, airlines tend to select one of the two engine manufacturers and collaborate exclusively with that company for their entire 787 fleet. This approach not only simplifies the decision-making process, but also optimizes maintenance and logistics operations, ultimately reducing both costs and complexity in overall operations. In fact, many airlines have successfully implemented this strategy. For instance, all 787 fleets of United Airlines are equipped with GE engines, while Singapore Airlines has opted for Rolls-Royce engines for its Dreamliners. However, as the aviation landscape evolves, some airlines have begun to reassess this traditional approach. Instead of relying on a single manufacturer, they are diversifying their aircraft fleets by incorporating both engines, Rolls-Royce Trent 1000 and General Electric Gen X. This shift signifies a significant change in strategy, allowing airlines to take advantage of the unique benefits offered by each engine type. So, what is the reason why airlines make this change? Let's turn to the most significant part. With major airlines switching from Rolls-Royce engines to GE, it's no surprise that the US engine manufacturer proudly states its Gen X engine family is now powering about two-thirds of the more than 1,116 787 in operation. It seems that GE and X is becoming the more popular choice. So, what explains this trend? The main reason is the serious issues that the Trent 1000 encountered between 2017 and 2020. Durability problems led to many 787 being grounded for extended periods, restricting operational capacity, and even forcing some airlines to wet lease aircraft to maintain their schedules. This left many airlines dissatisfied with Rolls-Royce, especially when compared it to the GNX of the US engine manufacturer, which did not face similar issues during the same period. While the Genix has also faced some airworthiness directives, it has not encountered any serious issues like those caused by the Trent 1000. However, is reliability the only main concern, or are there other factors? Hold on. You won't want to miss the latest breaking news and our unique insights into aviation. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe. Thanks for being here with us. Another significant factor is time and performance. In 2020, the 787-10 could only utilize the new Trent 1100 engine version rather than the earlier Trent 1000 variants. Rolls-Royce had to redesign the Trent 1100, but did not expect it to be ready until 2021. This time frame is needed to account for the certification and manufacturing processes. Thus, time was a factor that airlines like ANA considered when deciding to choose the GNX. Moreover, Fuel efficiency factors also influenced airlines' decisions. According to a Forbes report, Air New Zealand and Scoot found that the Trent 1000 did not achieve the expected fuel efficiency of the 787-9. As a result, many airlines were attracted to the performance of the GNX, especially regarding the Stretch-10 variant. In addition, although there has been no official statement from airline executives regarding the specific reasons for this change, the situation with Thai Airways provides deeper insight into the issue. According to airporttechnology.com comma, the decision to choose G engines over Rolls-Royce stems from an ongoing dispute between the airline and the engine manufacturer. The CEO of Thai Airways, Chai M. Siri, expressed dissatisfaction with Rolls-Royce for changing its business strategy, shifting from offering significant discounts to focusing on short-term profits. This means that the manufacturer has raised its prices, despite the potential for long-term contracts with operators. Mr. Amsiri warned that the engine manufacturer should not be tough with their customers as doing so might lead to short-term gains, but long-term losses. Following prolonged disagreements, Thai Airways decided to follow through on its threat by switching to GNX engines for its latest 787 orders. By the end of 2024, at least five airlines will equip our Trent 1000 engine for its 787 fleet before changing the new fleet to GE engine. 
This is not only a technical shift, but also shows the transformation in strategy in choosing the engine of the airlines on over the world. So what specific airlines did that change? Air New Zealand is one of the first airlines to add other engines from another manufacturer. In the past, this airline only operated the fleet of 787-9 equipped Rolls-Royce Trent 1000. However, on May 20th, 19, Air New Zealand ordered more Dreamliner-10 using the engine of General Electric. According to AirlinerRatings.com, Air New Zealand Air New Zealand was rumored to have turned its back on the UK manufacturer by choosing GE engines. The reason for this shift may stem from the fact that the airline faced significant operational disruptions due to durability issues with the Rolls-Royce Trent 1000 engines. Many believe this was the driving factor behind Air New Zealand's decision to switch to another option. However, the story may not be that simple, and this is something we will continue to explore in the next section. Not only Air New Zealand, but nearly a year later, a Japanese airline, ANA, All Nippon Airways, did the same. On February 20th, 20, in the case of a global economic crisis happened ongoing, ANA informed that they intend to purchase more 20 Boeing 787. They owned a quite large fleet before, so broadening the fleet of this aircraft is completely reasonable. However, at that time, ANA chose GNX of General Electric instead of continuing with RR Trent 1000 as the order before. It didn't stop there. On December 20th, 23, LATAM announced an order for 5787, and with this order, the airline decided to equip its new aircraft with Gen X engines. Notably, its current fleet of 787 is powered by Rolls-Royce Trent 1000 engines. According to CFO Ramiro Alfonson, the addition of Gen X engines was aimed at providing greater flexibility and expanding options for the airline's long-haul fleet. Just a few months later, on February 20th, 24, Thai Airways also placed an order for 45 Dreamliners at the Singapore Air Show. Similar to LATAM, Thai Airways opted for these engines for this new order instead of continuing to use Trent engines on its existing Dreamliner fleet. Most recently, British Airways joined this trend with an order for six new Dreamliners. These new aircraft will be equipped with Gen X engines, while the airline's current 787 fleet is still powered by Rolls-Royce Trent 1000 engines. This indicates a worrying trend for the UK manufacturer. Airlines that had previously committed to using Rolls-Royce engines and the Trent 1000 are now willing to diversify their Boeing aircraft fleets with Dreamliners equipped with GE engines. Notably, no airlines have gone in the opposite direction by ordering new 787 with Trent 1000 engines while their existing fleet is equipped with GE engines. One of the most viable measures for Rolls-Royce to change the situation is to improve the reliability of the Trent 1000 engine. The durability and reliability issues associated with the Trent 1000 engine have led to significant operational disruptions, causing many 787 aircraft to be grounded for extended periods. This has resulted in considerable dissatisfaction among airlines and diminished trust in Rolls-Royce's products. If Rolls-Royce can effectively address these issues through research, development, and technical enhancements, it will not only help restore confidence from current airlines, but also attract new customers. A reliable engine would reduce maintenance and operational costs for airlines, thereby creating a competitive advantage for Rolls-Royce in the current landscape, where many airlines are shifting towards the Gen X engine from GE. According to the Aviation Week Network Fleet Discovery Database, the 787 customers have selected GNX engines for 677 aircraft versus Trent 1000 for just 71. The Trent 1000 has had maturity problems for several years that have substantially affected operations at many airlines. We've lost market share on this engine because it's not sufficiently durable, Rolls-Royce head of engineering Simon Burr said at a recent company briefing. Rolls-Royce is introducing Trent 1000 design enhancements made on other engines, including the high-pressure turbine on the Trent 7000. Flight testing should start in August and last about eight weeks to clear the upgraded engine design for operational use. Burr said, it should bring about a step change in durability. The company expects to deliver a doubling of time on wing and says it will pursue additional upgrades for a further 30% durability improvement. This is not a good sign for Rolls-Royce, but hopefully the company will soon certify its improved Trent 1100 engine and fan blades to become more competitive with GE's products. So, what do you think about this situation? Do you believe that more airlines currently operating with Trent 1000 engines will consider adding 787 with Gen X engines? 
Let us know your thoughts by leaving a comment. Thank you, and wishing you safe travels.